This is my Z4, that's uh, a BMW E89. Problem is, it does not start. So it's sitting here like a pretty piece of furniture. And today I will be working on replacing the starter motor. Okay, well first things first, I thought I would show you where the starter motor is. So this is the engine, bonnet's open. The starter motor is actually back here. You won't really be able to see it, so I'm just gonna give you an impression. So you see that gray section down there? That's almost it. If you sort of look through here, now you're starting to see it. It's hard to make it out. But you see this red power cable? It's driving to the starter motor. There, you can sort of see a piece of it now, yeah? Okay, right in there. So down in here, uh, the bad news of course is we can't grab it right now, we can't get to it. But we're gonna access it from the top of the engine rather than coming from beneath. And for that, there's gonna be basically three things I'm gonna do. That is first, I'm gonna remove the, basically the air filter and the air intake, well this part. And then second, we'll remove the Intake manifold, this guy down here, and once we get those two things out of the way, we'll have access to the starter motor. So it's going to be a lot of little steps, but overall hoping it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, and uh, the first step, which is getting the air filter off, we're going to move these air intake hoses. First step I want to do is there are four, one, two, three, four bolts here. I want to pull those. Yeah, that's it. Yeah, this is where you are without that front air intake. You can see the radiator and it looks like maybe the air conditioning condenser if it's not an oil cooler. And then this is now open. That one's next. We're gonna take off the air box. You know, basically these clips also pop this guy off. It also clips here. Then we have the oil sensor over here. We're gonna undo that one. Okay, let's just push and pull. This one is push and pull too, I take it? Let's see. There, yeah, like you said. And this one over here. I don't know if I'm gonna unpop that last one or I'll just keep it off the side, I think, for now. And we're gonna pop these clips. Where's that screwdriver? Do you really need the clips or can you just take the whole thing? I'm gonna open it up. Just so I can show the grommets from the inside. There's two here. Whoa, lots of leaves. <laughs> that was unexpected. That must have been from the color tour. Picked up some butter. Okay, so in here, you can see there's a grommet thing here. I think that's what's holding it down, right? And we got, I almost thought there was two, but I only see one on this one. So that's what's gonna hold that down. One on that side, just three. Two. Yeah, so they're just pressure that one and yep, that one. Yeah, so your pipes. Okay, great. So we're gonna take off this pipe, we'll loosen this one, and then this one over here. And that should be able to bring it back. Okay, so here's the air cleaner. Had a grommet there, two on the sides, and then also 
had these three clips here, which relate to the two hoses and this thing right here. You just lift them up and it pulls them off. Okay, so this is what it looks like without the filter in. You've got this hose we disconnected, this hose we disconnected, this stud, this stud, and this stud. If you're doing a different three series, you might have a different mounting there, but there you go. And now we can see throttle, I'm gonna undo to then get to the monofold and underneath there is the starter. Okay, so this one just pulls off. We pried it with a screwdriver. And there's gonna be a sensor or two under here. Yeah, there's the connector right here. So we'll have to pry that one off. Okay, this has four bolts, one here, 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 and then there's one right there. Once that is done, I should be able to pull it off. Yeah, you got that one? Just one the hand snaggling. There we go, great. There you go, so that clears up interferences for when we do the intake. Fan is already taken off the vacuum line. There was a vacuum line right here, you can see the fitting right there. It goes to this one right here. So I mean, you could take either side off you wanted. It was just easier for us to hit that one. And there's gonna be this, just grab it. This right here, which is push, oh yeah, thanks. That made it look real easy, yeah. Yeah, so that one's one of those push and pull ones. And then there's a sensor on the bottom of this one as well, which quite honestly is still on there, but we're gonna get that as well. And then, and we're probably gonna hit with the bolts here, we've got one in the front, then the one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Nuts to hit there. We've taken off the sensor here to clear that one out. And we'll keep moving. Here's where we are at. You can see the starter motor. This is the power cable that goes to it. Um, one thing I'm gonna point out here is this block right here. This block was, it has tabs that you can just yank off of it. We couldn't do that very effectively. So we actually took, there's three bolts, one here, here, and here, and we unbolted them from the intake. Uncoupled the downpipe side, and then there was one other sensor. Um, to get enough room, also the biggest thing is there was a tab on the intake that would interfere and hit with this pipe. There's a bolt on the back of here. Maybe you could push that pipe out of the way. We couldn't get that one. But by uh, removing the bracket, then you had enough room that you could pull the intake. And let me show you what the intake looks like. So here's the intake. This was that bracket that was interfering. It was way out here. We unbolted one on the bottom and then moved it back. When I install it, I'm ripping out this whole thing. It's gonna be a pain. And we'll just, cause its whole purpose is just to hold one wire. And that wire could be held by a zip tie or anything else for that matter. Here is the intake on the bottom. There are the bolts for that bracket we were talking about. And then these three bolts right here was where the bracket that's just, you know, you pull out to get the cords off of it. But we totally unbolted it. So uh, anyway, that's what that one looks like. But the short of it is after you get the intake out of the way, then you can see the starter. I'm gonna come over to the top. Okay, here's the starter motor. Looking top down. Took out two bolts. One's back here. Right there. It's gone. We had to come in from behind here to do that. And then this one was straight forward. This was on the bottom. Ow! Frick! Should have had my gloves on. Took out a chunk of my thumb. Anyway. There it is. There's the hole. Okay, this is with the new starter in. It's bolted in the back there. Bolted over here on the side. Has the power to it. Next is just covering it all back up with the pieces we took out. 